take you to the mountain top. If you have never heard before, I'm saying it to you this morning. In the scheme of things, as far as politics of Nigeria is concerned, President Muhammad Buhari is number 15, and your sincere is number 16. I never said that to you before. I never said that to you before. I make it plain this morning. I let you know it this morning. Nothing can change it in the name of Jesus. He is number 15. I am number 16. To this end was I born. And for this purpose came I into the world. I prepared you for this for more than 30 years. That's why if he wants to run in 2019, I do not oppose. He's still number 15. It's when he steps out that I step in. His assignment is that of Moses to take Nigeria to Riyadh Jordan, but he can't cross it. He will take a Joshua to go to the other side and begin to distribute resources to the people of this nation. It's congregations. Yeah. Like, uh, it's good. Uh, the election is like the God. God, they have done their election. But God, God is going to do his selection. And everything is rearing towards, it's rearing towards the fact mm-hmm. that uh, he has uh, said that it was going to be the sustains, uh, sustains what do you call it, sustain president of Nigeria, I mean, they left our board. So who, who, is that, who is that person? Who is that person, sir? Mr. Tunde Bakari. Okay, okay. For the last... Uh, okay. You know, when we were looking at all those people who are just putting up a uh, prophecy and, uh, and things, sort of, uh, when we are looking at all those people putting those things up, we are just looking at it that uh, is in fact, his own is now worse than the others, in the sense that he was still saying, you know, by parable, by, okay, I've listened to more than 28 minutes of his 40 Minis uh, 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 preaching land land. So that uh, Speak English, sir. Speak English, sir. Speak English. Oh, 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 oh. So sorry, I said for the for the uh, twenty eight minutes of the message that I listened to, I discovered that everything it was leading to, it was just leading these people. Towards the facts, you know, of what he said, that his uh, his his prediction has not failed. That people might do election, but God is going to do selection. And for the past three four weeks, he has been consistently uh, blowing the mind of his people towards that kind of thing. That that, that, that is Mr. Tunde Bakari, sir. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, so the leading people towards that. Okay, you, you so, let me repeat. Let me repeat what you. If I heard you very well, you yes. you are saying that he said that uh, Nigerians have done the election, and uh, but God was uh, God God was to God was going to do His own selection. Yes, and, and in actual fact, God has done His selection, and it was Him. Yes, I, because he has said it long ago. Oh, because that, he said it, because he prophesied it long, long, long ago. Long ago, that immediately after Bukhari, he yeah. is going to be the next. Okay, okay. Bukhari was the 15th, he's going to be the yeah. 16th. No, Bukhari is the 15th. He's uh-huh. the 15th so it, president. Yes, he's going to be the 16th. Okay, and uh, actually, let, let me make one or two comments uh, before you move away from that. Uh, and that is uh, to allow uh, you wanted to make some comments. Yes, sir. It is um, you see, you see, when you are raising the 
you, you have been a little clear in when we go to the Bible, the issue that you are raising about the statements of Mr. Atunde Bakari. The, the, the thing is that people need to be to be woken up to begin to to begin to 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 hear because almost everybody is asleep biblically speaking when, when we talk when we talk in terms of the bible almost everybody is asleep because the, the issue is that sir, the, yeah the issue is that the god of the bible has made some statements that if you if you cross those statements are you with me sir yeah right you are, you are clearly on that you are you are clearly identified as not having anything to do with god that's that's correct if you oppose god in any way if he says right and you say left no if you if you make prophecy <laughs> if you make prophecy that tomorrow will be so so and so and, and you tell people that you are saying that by virtue of your connection with god okay if tomorrow comes and those things they do not come come out to be as you said them mm. the god of the bible in deuteronomy chapter 13 says that and, and chapter 18 to 18 yes says that that is the conclusive evidence that you do not have anything to do with him and that he does not have anything to do with you in that job act that is the conclusive evidence that he doesn't have anything to do with you mm. you, you see you see I, i'm uh, I, i'm i'm shouting and I, I will advise you to please permit me to shout as clearly as possible please shout so that people whoever gets this will understand all you need to do is go into the bible if according to, to the god of the bible in Deuteronomy chapter 18 18 yes sir let, let me see sir if you don't mind let me quickly show it since since okay. this thing is going to be published okay if you don't mind let me open my bible so that we read it so, so that people it it will not just be anybody relying on my recollection mm -hmm. yes i'm not asking anybody to rely on my recollection of what are the read I, i'm asking people to see the bible themselves so that uh they will know what god himself so i'm opening the term chapter 18. sir I, I hope you can see my screen sir i can see it <clears throat> okay Uh, and maybe, maybe you can read this place, sir. The place that I've highlighted. 22. From, from 20, sir, to the yeah. end. But the prophets, we shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded them to speak, or that I shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. And if thou say in thy heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord had not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is that is the thing which the Lord had not spoken. But the prophet has spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Sir, I, I want us to, because, uh, the issue of uh, Mr. Tunde Bakari, as well as uh, other uh, people of his type mm. in Nigeria that have been issuing prophecies, uh, people should be aware of what God Himself, has what said. is, yes, what God has said. In verse 18 and verse 19, God was telling Moses, I'm going to raise up a prophet from among the brethren 
of the Jews. The person is going to be like you. And I'll yes. put my word, I'll put my word in his mouth. Yes. I shall speak unto them all oh, that I shall command him. Yes. And God said that in verse 19, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my voice, which he shall speak in my name, I will reply it of him. Mm. You now have pastority. Where God was now telling Moses and everybody that, but the prophets, we shall presume to speak a word in my name, which have not commanded him to speak. The issue is, first of all, somebody is called a prophet, but and he has come to speak words which he attributes to God. And God said that that is a presumptive person. Yeah. If he has not commanded him to say those things. So I, I hope you get it, sir. I'm getting you. The other, the other, the other prophet is the one that shall speak in the name of in the name of other gods. <laughs> Press subscribe. Like and comment. Let me remind you to press subscribe, like, or comment on this video. Thank you. There are two groups of, of prophets in verse 20. But yeah. There are two groups of prophets. One that shall speak in the name of the Lord God on presumption. And it, and a word which he has not commanded him. Yes. On what God has not commanded him, or one that shall speak in the name of other gods. The Bible says God's command, God's judgment of those of the two of them. You can see what is what, what, what is, is death. Death. the God of the Bible, sir. Is categorical. If somebody gives prophecy, and that is the reason why we must do whatever we can to call the attention of every human being, either they are Nigerians or they are non Nigerians, mm. so that so that they start listening to God, so that they start taking God seriously. The only way you take God seriously is by paying attention to His words. Yeah, obeying his command. Yes. No, just pay attention first to his words. Most, most, most people, most people in Nigeria, they do not even pay attention at all to start with. If you, if you don't pay attention, the, the idea of obeying does not even arise. <laughs> when, you don't know, when you don't know the, uh, what he has commanded, you have not paid yes. attention to it. So oh, the yes. idea of obeying is not will not come will not come up at no, all. It, it don't come up. It don't come up because you are totally blind. You are you are simply flying blind, so to speak, as they say in aviation. Where you are going, you do not know. Mm. Where the airport is, you do not know. Mm. So, but the prophet, I'm reading verse twenty again. Yeah, we shall presume to speak a word in my name. Just one word, not two words, sir. Mm -hmm. I hope you can see this place. Not even a sentence. No, a word. A, just one word. You know, you know, God can be God can be quite exact. Oh, sure. It can be very definite. Yes. Who is he afraid of? Afraid of nobody. So he's so, definite. Yes. That the prophet that shall. Presume to speak a word, not two words, not ten. Just one. Just one. one. In my name, which I have not commanded him to speak. The consequence of anybody doing that, as far as God is concerned, is this place. Yes. Is death. The consequence of anybody doing that is death. Mm. 
So uh, the fact that the fact that we we are no longer in a situation where we can um, inflict death on people who say lies, who tell lies in God's name, does not in any way diminish the consequences. No. The gravity of what they are doing. It does not in any single way. Oh, sure. Because the judge, the judge of the universe is the one that is talking here. The fact that we are no longer in theocracy, where every false prophet should be stoned for lying against God, does not remove the gravity of their evil. It never diminish it, it never remove it. No. That evil is still there, and the judgment yes. of God is still upon him. It is. It is. So, I, I'm just saying this so that whoever gets this video will understand exactly what we are talking about. The mind of God. That you must never come out to say one single word mm. in God's name presumptuously unless you are absolutely sure that, oh. that God was actually the instigator. God was actually the inspirer of those of, words. Of those of what we are of what we are saying. If if you if you if you have any doubt as to the source of the idea or the opinion that you want to express, then you must not express it as prophecy. You can express it as your own words. Oh, this is my thing. You can express it as a wish. You can express it as a hope. You can you can even say you are planning towards it. Which yeah. You are, you, you, there, you are there are so many is that it's not from God. You the only thing God. you must never say is thus said the Lord. And therefore, sir, if anybody calls himself a Christian leader or a pastor or a Christian or anything, and the person comes around telling you about tomorrow, in his capacity as a Christian teacher, <laughs> what the person is saying is that the person is taking God's name in vain. In vain, which is uh, against his law. Yes. That is actually, the person is actually lying against God. The person is doing what he will never do to the president of his country against God. Because what we are saying now, sir, is, is like today Bakari going to New York or Washington mm -hmm. and declaring that the president of Nigeria has asked him to bring social message to the government and the people of America. And when the president has not said. But in actual fact, he has no such authority. He'll be arrested and put in jail. So for today Bakari to go to the to, to Washington <coughs> and say thus said the president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari. This and this and this are what we intend to do concerning America. Mm. Well, in actual fact, Muhammad Buhari never sent him. Mm. Never. There, there are a few possibilities, sir. Mm. It could be it could be said to be a little sick upstairs. Ah, uh, it could be said to, to have taken some uh, drugs. Uh, so, so yes, yes, some some particular concussions, some chemicals. Are you with me, sir? Well, I mean, In fact, his alibi, his alibi will be that that day 
he he he, he took some concussions and, uh, and they worried the him. Doctor, and the doctor actually spiked his uh, daily dosage <laughs> of his uh, heart drug <laughs> with some cocaine. Cocaine or some something. Substances, some substances he did, he was not aware of. Yes, they they will go and test him whether he's saying the truth or not. Of course, I'm telling you the for, for him to be free a little. Some of the possible alibi he could give, and every one of the alibi that he could that he could give will actually bring him to serious shape. Yeah, if not serious imprisonment. Every one of the alibi he will give will bring him to serious punishment. Everyone. Yeah. And, and, and that is lying against a human president of Nigeria. Not, not lying against the creator of the universal. You, you can therefore imagine lying against the person who is supplying you the oxygen that you are taking in every second. Lying against the person who is actually maintaining the pumping of your heart. Hmm. Now, if you look at past 21, sir, God was raising an issue. And the issue what he was raising was that if if you say, if you say you don't know the word that God had not spoken, how, how, do, how do we know? How do we know? What word God has not spoken? Not spoken. Mm. Since the consequences of of uh, of presumptuous statements, since the consequences of prophesying of te of of telling people about what God was going to do in tomorrow, is so great and so grave. Capital capital punishment. Basically, everybody must run away from. And God and is not saying that. Run away from. How do, God is not saying, how do we know the words God had not had not spoken? I think here he is 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 saying that listen, let us perhaps say that you don't really understand what the Lord has spoken, so that oh, yes. you will not be ignorant of what are uh, spoken. Yes, don't be ignorant at all. No, so no, that, no. You, you must not be ignorant and you must say, uh, you, you know, the question, the, the point God was raising, God is raising in the past uh, 21. There is a very important uh, question. It's a very, very important point. Because if somebody comes to you, sir, and say, ah, sir, Eda Deji, ah, uh, in the next three months, to be voted in as the prime minister, of Britain. Okay. So the, the issue in fast 21 is part of what will come to your mind immediately. Okay. But how will that thing come to pass? How, how, am, I to, how am I to be sure that, sir, dear sir, or great sir, whatever you call yourself in Britain, <laughs> how am I to be sure? That you that is standing before me, you actually heard from God. That God actually spoke to you. To you. That in three months' time, the Jadeleya will be crowned as the Prime Minister of Britain. Of Great Britain. How am I to be sure? That's uh, the question uh, that should come to our heart. Because that question will come to your mind. If you say, if thou say in thy heart, yeah, how shall I know the yes. one which the Lord has not spoken to? How yes. am I to know whether it is correct? How am I to know that that thing comes from God? Yes. Not only correct, that thing comes yes. from God. Oh, yes. And God answered the, the same question in verse 22. And God said that when a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, mm -hmm. If the team follow not, if that thing never happened, <laughs> if that thing never came to pass, 
that that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. Look, look, just look at the finality. God saying that, look, uh, I'm not flippant in any way. God is not flippant. It's not, it, it doesn't give a kind of, um, uh, I'm trying to remember, to, 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 uh, you see, in my native, uh, those of EJ, <laughs> <laughs> something something that is just like a, 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 a probability sir probability <laughs> probability that god does not give probability that god does not deal in probability and god does not deal in possibility if if he had if he had said something the thing will happen, just as he said it. Definitely. So, if therefore, according to verse 21, according to God, God is the one still speaking. When the prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord had not spoken. For the prophet has spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. So what God is telling whoever is listening is that you, you must stop regarding Tunde Bakari as a man of God. That is the list that you that you must do. That's the list. Anybody, any except, of course, except if by May 29 he's sworn in as the president of Nigeria. <laughs> And what, what we are saying, sir, is applicable to Ben Miguel who yeah, prophesied I mean, that who prophesied that uh, the current vice president will be sworn in. Yeah, there's, another, there's another one of them. They are not, we, are, we don't have sh shortage of them saying so many things. Yes, sir. Every one, every one of them. You see, sir, what the issue that the issue that this is part of what was what we discussed last week. Mm. When I told you that, I don't have problem with these people. Yeah. If they had been speaking in the name of, of the Allah. God of their forefathers. But because, but because they like to deceive people that they are Christians, they come out speaking in the name of the God of the Bible. The problem they have is that the God of the Bible has caused his own word to be written so people can see it in black and white. <laughs> so and the whole idea of a false prophet is that the person is entitled to be killed. Mm. That's his entitlement to be yes, killed. Yes, that is entitlement. It's dead. It's a capital offense. It's a capital offense. So people, people think that, well, because there's nobody that is executing the, cap the capital offense in that time. And you can therefore simply open your mouth and say, God told me. And maybe that to... is, maybe because the capital punishment is not there, that's why they can do all this nonsense. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And if what you say, if you want to say never happened, then what to do is that you simply turn your your coat or your agbada and you start another set of prophecy i want to re to to remind everybody that this is not to, this is not the first prophecy that mr tunde bakari is giving he had been given yeah. prophecies for years he had we never came to pass yes that never came to pass and therefore they are presumptuous yes which is and that is, the good. And that, so there's another thing that I want to say before we close this particular thing. Okay. And that is, since that is true, since the fact that Tune Bakari has been giving prophecies that have turned out to be to be false, false. since that is true, everyone that goes to his church is guilty. Oh, sure. sure. Everyone. Everyone mm -hmm. is knowingly, knowingly blindfolding himself or herself to enter ahead. As if, as if 
God, the God of the universe, the God of the Christians, has not made himself clear enough. If you meet anybody, sir, anybody, that tells you tomorrow, so so thing is going to happen. And I'm speaking because God told me so. If that thing, if that thing failed to happen, Oof. that that must be the end of your relationship with that person as a representative of God. It, it, it does not mean that you have to hate the person. It does not mean that it will cease to it will cease being your in-law. It does not mean that it will even cease being your business partner. What it must cease being to you is a brother or sister in Christ. A Christian brother or a Christian sister. And when the person repents, it must be with at least at least equal publicity of the same thing that you did oh, earlier yeah. that is the least and even in multiplied form self sir oh yeah that's a, that, that's what paul was writing when he says that uh, he's guilty of persecuting the church is guilty you know he has oh, yes. and oh, he yes. continued saying chief sinner and things oh, like yes. that Oh, yes. But these people are oh, yes. as they would never come out to say that, sorry, oh, that thing that I said that was wrong is from my mind. Okay. Uh, sir, sir, this don't, matter. Don't, don't move away from what the issue uh, that you are raising. Because it's far more important than the, the few seconds that you are giving it. Okay. That Paul, yeah, because yeah. he repented, Area. he continued to remind people. The gravity, of, the gravity of his past sin. He continued to address, yes, that, look, I participated in murder. <laughs> I, I was this, I was that. Yeah. Because in actual fact, Paul repented. Yeah, that is an example of somebody who repented. He will not relish in his... Uh, Whatever thing that he has done, but he will not hide it. it. No, he will not hide it. He will not hide it. Uh, he, he said he did not know that how he, he, he actually said, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly and unbelief. Is okay. So although I was a former, formerly a blasphemer, a persecutor, and an insolent man. Oh, no. Yeah. He didn't hide those things. And Julius person. Yes. Uh, that's uh, possible to want that thing. Okay. If you can open it, really. Yeah, I can. I can. It, it, it's not something that we are conjuring from the mind. No. No. It's open. Possible to want that thing. Yes. Uh, okay. If we think it was, I thank, I thank Christ Jesus our Lord. Who had enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry? Who, that is, how the manifold of mercies of God, the manifold of his love, said, Who was before a blasphemer? Yes. A persecutor. An injurious. But I obtained mercy because yes. I did it. Ignorantly in unbelief. So when he said this, uh, and I think 15, okay, let's go 14 to 15. So, and the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Yeah. So he wasn't hiding. I, I think uh, uh, it is in the in Psalm. Blessed is the one who has not covered his sin. Who has not? You know, yeah. I can't remember the. Yeah, yeah. Psalm thirty-two, sir. Yeah. He is. Uh, he is. 
this various uh, 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 prophets of Nigeria, uh, the the presidential change of uh, pattern going on in Nigeria, the presidential election and the rest of them, and the various elections to wake people up to the fact that what we have are false teachers. What we have are false prophets. That when we say these people are not Christians, they are not even ordinary believers in God to start with. My brother, I will just punctuate you there. We need really, really, really need prayers. You know why I'm saying? Yeah. At the end, transition between 2019 and 2020. Most of them declared that the year was going to be good. That who, who sir? That the year, year 2020 was going to be good, was going to be a year oh, when yeah. people will... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go, they never saw COVID. No, they never saw COVID. They never I don't, saw COVID. Not and, even and, a single one. No. And millions, millions of people, their right. lives had been cut short. By, they, they never saw it. They because, they, yeah, because that, God never, never shows anything to them. The part of the case you said something that this particular era, the change of pattern, to teach people the kind of people the kind of persons they are but yes. how many of, how many of them read when, when, people, when people come across our videos and our write-ups and we say these people that they are not christians talk less of being christian leaders these pastors of nigeria these bishops these uh, apostles and so on most people find it uh, unpalatable. It's, it's, it's too hard. The statements are too hard for them to, to even put in their mouth to chew. The reason, sir, as, as we are saying, is because most people are not aware of God's words in the Bible. That God, God doesn't play games with his words. How, how can he's not have. afraid of any one of us? Yes, he do, he's categorical. If anybody comes around and say so, so, so will happen, and the person say he's talking in my name, and the thing never happened, then you should know that I never spoke with him. You should know that the person does not have any connection with me. Those who have connection with God, when God talks to them, they hear. <laughs> and Straight they away. are so careful, they are so careful that they will not say a word because don't forget what we read in Deuteronomy chapter 18. It is, a, is word. a word. Not true. So they it, will not it, say a word Unless they heard that word very clearly. So if if okay, let, let, let me put it this way. Yes, sir. If I said God told me that there was good there's going to be rain in Abuja. But in actual fact, there was rain in Lagos. You know, there is a different word, Abuja and Lagos. Because I didn't say that the Lord said that there is going to be rain in Lagos. I said the rain, there will be rain in Abuja. That is what the Lord has not said. Because even one word, it, it, sorry, must uh, not fail. it must not fail. I don't wonder. It must not that's, what, that's what he said in uh, Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah 55. That none of his word will go without yes. Isaiah 55. Yeah. Let me open it, sir. Okay. Let me open to the place. 55, yes, sir. Is, is, we are in 55. Yeah. I think, I think from uh, uh, 8, let's go to, from 8 downwards. 
Uh-huh. Uh, so, okay, he was talking from here. Uh, neither the way for as I even for the rain. That's eleven. That, eleven. So shall my word be be that goeth forth out of my mouth. He shall not return unto me void. Yes, but he shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things where to I sent it. Yes. That is that is God giving giving you categorical statement that if if the word that come from him, if it, if the word is from his mouth, mm, mm. that he, uh, you, you see, sir, there are people now uh, in Nigeria and in other places, sir. These people that uh, that hate God terribly. I love I love that way you put it. Yes, hate God. Oh yes, you know you have to hate God for mm. you to call His name to something He never said. He never said, oh. Yes, it, it is. It, it people must quickly realize that God is a person that is very very careful about His own honor. The honor of God, his glory and his majesty, he, he does not toy with it. He, do, he doesn't touch with, toy with those things. So, so come around, sir, and say that where um, the prophecy that they gave, they failed because uh, the people in APC they they were too smart in their rigging. Okay. So that can uh, uh, a, I want you to uh, you see that Isaiah fifty five eleven. Actually, in uh, Matthew twenty four and verse thirty five, yes, Jesus confirmed it in in another way. Yeah. When he says seven and eight, they pass away. Yeah. Or will or may pass away, but not a judge of my word. Yeah, verse thirty-five. Yes, verse thirty-five. Uh, yes, we are there, sir. Yeah, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Yes. So people who do, who have no knowledge, do I dare who the Almighty is? They come around and they tell you, you know. Uh, yes, God told God told me that uh, uh, Obi is going to win. <laughs> but you see, the APC people, uh, yes, you see, they were too smart. They lived everywhere. <laughs> those those are the people that were supposed to tender or reserve the repentance apology. Yeah. Yes, on uh, reserve repentance before God, continuing to lie against God. But I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean to say it. Just that like I Paul said that I did every single word from God. Uh, just like Paul said that I did all these things in ignorance. Let us say that they, well, they didn't do it in ignorance because they needed. No, 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 they didn't no, 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 from no, no, God. no, no, no. Th these people are not. Uh, they are not in the same category. Yeah, yeah. People they didn't who, come around, who come around to tell you that you are going to be the prime minister of Britain in 90 days' time, God does not God does not regard them as acting out of ignorance. No, no, they are not. They are not. They are not. You know God what Paul was talking about was about the about the Jewish law. God used, sir, sir. The word God used in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 21 is presumption. Mm. And he, he, he ended it by saying it is a capital offense. Mm. You are not supposed to be presumptive against the local government chairman of your council. So, fast forward, it cannot be the governor. And taking it more, the president. Yes, yes you can't. You can't and be presumptive. The the, the 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 creator of the universe. No, 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 you can't. You can't. There's no room for presumption. 
anybody who opens his mouth and say, God told me so so and so is God is what he will do, what he's going to do. And the thing does not happen. God does not regard the person as a bumbler, as somebody who is simply bumbling. God regards the okay. person as an enemy. Okay. Uh, you said something the other time, and I want you to clarify it. Okay, sir. I want to say is that people who continue to listen to this and abide with them, they are partakers along with them. They are, sir. They are, sir. In the book of Exodus, in the sorry, in the book of Ezekiel, uh, oh, yes. I think Ezekiel 25 or so, God gave a word. He said the, the, the punishment for the first prophet is the same as the punishment of those that come to him. <laughs> Yes. Same punishment. Same punishment. So if, if anybody is listening, hearing, hearing us or watching this video, and the person is uh, is uh, is attending uh, redeem, we are to give uh, 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 false prophecies almost every five five minutes. Did or you say that Ezekiel is Ezekiel twenty five? Well, I I will look for it, sir. Yeah, okay, no problem. Let, no, let me look for it. Uh, it's, it's 14 now. 14 yes. test. You can read this, sir. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. I, I hope it's a little clear, sir. <laughs> it's clear. It's clear. Even in my own, uh, uh, Pabaz, uh, what do you call it? In my own translation, yeah. Yes. Step, false prophets and those who seek their guidance will all be punished for their sins. Yes, sir. So people, people might think that what we are doing is that we are simply gossiping mm. against Tunde Bakari or against. Uh, uh, in Okadeboye, or against uh, was uh, all these other small ones around who are giving uh, against Olowo Shoyo, against uh, so many of them that are giving that are giving false prophecies almost every week. Every if not, go. yes, the God, the God that we serve, the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. The person who caused the Bible to be written mm. in his book, in Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 10, has said mm -hmm. that the punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of those that seek mm. to him. Oh. So if anybody, if anybody thinks that, well, you know, there's no consequence, I can continue going to, to redeem. Uh, if, even though the man has been given false prophecy, from beginning. Or oh, I can continue uh, following um, today, Bakari. Or oh, I can continue following this or that person. That it really doesn't matter. In any case, he was simply making mistake. He was mistaken. Ah. The God of the Bible, sir. Mm. I thank you that you have you have forced us to come to this passage. No, it's very important. So that, so that people will if see you, If you that. see my hand, I'm okay. copying it. I'm copying it and sending it to somebody. Oh, oh. as much as possible. And uh, yes, I advise people, please uh, send our video to as many as possible. Somebody, God may use it to wake somebody up. God may use it to wake whoever up. <laughs> that the God of the universe does not play with his words. He doesn't play pranks. He does not play pranks. He does not so Immediately, immediately you, you looking at me, realizes that this fellow is giving false prophecy. Even Master said that that prophet that deceived, who has spoken a thing, he said, and if the prophet be deceived, when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, I've deceived the prophet, and yes. I will. I will because no, the heart of the prophet, the heart of this particular prophet, is not with God to start with. No, it's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So, so God mm. himself is even involved in getting him deceived and destroyed. Yeah, because his heart is not even involved in it. Yes, because his heart is not, is not with God. So both the, both the deceived prophets and the deceived followers, God has promised punishment, generally equal punishment for them. So when we when we when we read the book of uh, First Corinthians to people, that the only option you have is to flee, is to move away from these people. That the God of Israel, you, nobody can toy with him. His terms are strict. They are strict. They are strict. Yes, it's good. It's good God. It's giving you oxygen. It's giving you food. It's keeping your heart. Your 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 lungs are still pumping. They are still taking but, oxygen. It will by no means punish iniquity. It will, it will not allow iniquity just to go. Yeah, by no means. That's what is written in uh, yes. Exodus 34. Yeah. It is a good God. You're suffering everything. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And he said, I'm by no means. <laughs> Let the sinner go. Just like that. No. Yeah. Remind you to press subscribe, like, or comment on this video. Thank you.